Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another creature comparison. I hope you're ready to earn your stripes again, because this comparison is going to be between the Plains Zebra, or Equus Quagga, versus the Grevy Zebra, or Equus Grevy. So, let's begin. As always, we start with our similarities. Both the Plains Zebra and the Grevy Zebra belong to the genus Equus, the same genus that all other wild horses belong to. And both species have amazing patterns of stripes, the purpose of which is not yet determined. Some say it's used as camouflage. Some say it's used to deter biting flies. Some say it's to regulate body temperature. And some say it's a means of identification. But whatever the purpose, a zebra's stripe pattern is like a human fingerprint. No two are exactly the same. Oh, and zebras are actually black with white stripes, not the other way around. Also, both species live in herds that are made of a single stallion, mares, and their foals. Also, zebra foals are usually born during the rainy season, since that's when grass nutrient levels are at their highest. And when a zebra foal is born, its mother first keeps it away from the rest of the herd so that the foal can imprint off of her strike pattern. And of course, being grazers, zebras feed on grass and herbs. But with the former, they only nip off the top bits of the grass leaving the lower shoots for animals like antelope and wildebeests. Now, let's talk about the differences. First up, the plains zebra is much smaller. A fully grown plains zebra weighs around 350 kilograms, or 770 pounds. They are two and a half meters, or 8.2 feet long, and they stand up to 140 centimeters, or 55 inches, tall at the shoulder. The Grevy zebra, on the other hoof, is much bigger. In fact, the Grevy zebra is the largest species of zebra. They stand 4 to 5 feet, or 1.2 to 1.5 meters, tall. They can reach a length of 7.5 feet, or 2.3 meters, and they typically weigh between 770 and 950 pounds, or 348.8 to 430.4 kilograms. Also, Grevy's zebras have larger ears and more narrow stripes than plain zebras. <laughs> there are also six different subspecies of the plain zebra, such as the Grant's Zebra, the Seleuce Zebra, and the Damaraland Zebra, and the currently extinct Quagga was a subspecies of Plains Zebra. By contrast, there are no subspecies of Grevy's Zebra. There's also a difference in range. Plains Zebras live on the savannas of Eastern and Southern Africa. By contrast, the Grevy zebra lives solely in the dry plains and semi-deserts of Ethiopia and Kenya. Plains zebras also form larger, more close-knit herds than Grevy zebras. A typical size for a plains zebra herd is around five or six, but can even number up to the thousands whereas grubby zebra herds tend to be more loose-knit and smaller. Stallions also often tend to live in bachelor herds consisting of two to six stallions, and they usually only join up with the herds of mares at either water sources or during the mating season.
Grebe zebras are also more territorial. Males occupy large territories and territorial males tolerate other males unless there's a female estrus nearby. Plains zebras on the other hoof are not territorial. They're migratory. The Grevy zebra is also an endangered species. It's threatened mainly due to poaching for its hides and competition with livestock for grazing grounds and water. There are currently fewer than 2,500 Grevy zebras living in the wild. The plains zebra on the other hoof, while it does face similar threats, is currently listed as near threatened, and there are currently around 500,000 plains zebras living in the wild. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the plains zebra and the grubby zebra. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's go back to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? All right, let's see. Here we go. Well, our next one is going to be a bit on the small size of the bird family, and they're both found in the old west of North America. Alpha Lion Simba, out.